folks, to this week's pod racing amateur circuit on Milestair 100. It's a planet known for its toxic fuel. If you're exposed to it more than two galactic seconds, then you die. Which begs the question, why are we racing on this planet? But that is neither here nor there. This week we are following Bozzy Baranta. He is a little bit of a stubbly old man. He has a large engine. He's got a Shelby 730 Razor as his pod racer. A prime example of having the size but not the power, lady. Now, we are off to the start. He is already right up there with the bolt, passing the bolt in first. This is a very exciting race. As I say, every race it is an exciting race because, after all, as we all know, pod racers die. And then their clones have to finish for them. Co cloning is a very controversial topic. Oh, and here we are across one of those toxic fuel lakes that I mentioned earlier. Oh, man, he's through. Somehow he did not die, even though he was on there for longer than two seconds. But that is okay. He is now in the open course. He is a very slow racer. He enjoys... Oh, folks, he is down. He enjoys taking out other racers more than he does finishing in the top. Which means that he focuses more on smashing into everyone like little Annie Boo Boo there. But he is still in the race. He is still in third, which is a... Oh, he is a fourth. I take that back, folks. He is now in fourth, and he's coming up to the gorge with a giant insect. And... Oh, he crashed right to the last second. That is a large gorge, folks. I know I haven't jumped it, and I know for a fact you haven't jumped it. But he is now taking this slow, lethargic corner... And he barely made it, mainly because he had no speed from failing that first jump. But we are on the clone, folks. After failing that first jump, he, we are on that clone. Oh, and he is now smashing into Toy Dampener, the prince of whatever planet Toy Dampener comes from. But that is okay, folks. He is coming through. He is taking the corner. He is smashing into those other racers as much as he possibly can, which we knew he would do. Oh, but his right engine, folks, his right engine is not doing well. His right engine is making him more to the right, and he has a warning sign, which means if he does not fix that, he is going to explode, and clone number two will die. But we are back into the fuel. Oh, and of course, right in the fuel lake we explode, but fortunately those pit droids are right on it, right as they always are, and the clone is back on the race. Clone number three is racing through this place. Oh, and he's right behind Juan Sandage, I believe. Maybe not. Mars Goo. Eh, beg your pardon, it is Mars Goo and Team Dobegalese that he is trying to smash into, but he is following Mars Goo across the shortcut. But he is now in 7th, folks. He is now in 7th. That's not such a bad place. Looking at the roster, we have Dud Bolt in first. This is not that unheard of, as Dud Bolt is, in fact, the track favorite. He knows what he is doing. But here we go across the gorge. Oh, he just made it. He did better than the last lap, folks. He did better than the last lap, which we appreciate. Alder. Oh. But because he made that last lap, he had too much speed going into that corner. And because he cannot corner well, because again, as we know, size not power, he failed to make the corner and he smashed it up. And we are now on another clone. But as we can see, he loves smashing into other people. He is smashing into Duck Bolt. And it looks like he's about to smash into Sly Paramita. But that is okay because he actually has managed to take the lead by smashing into the other pod racers. Who knows what will happen next? But as we can see in the back, we have many people such as Ellen Mark, and I cannot see who was competing with Ellen Mark in the last, but we are back into the fuel race, the fuel lake, beg your pardon, and we are back into that corner. He is taking the corner, he's, oh, Sly Paramita and Team Dope Agalese. he seems to be buying for 7th, 8th, and ninth with these three, with these two. He's taking the shortcut, even though another racer has not taken the shortcut. This is odd, this is uncharacteristic. Maybe he's realized that smashing into others is not the way to victory. We shall see. But we see Dud Bull has finished, we see little Andy Boo Boo has finished, and we see Toy Dampner looks like he has crashed. But we are, but Toy Dampner has finished in fourth, and oh, again, he has made the jump, but because he made the jump, he had too much speed coming into the last corner, and again, he just destroys himself. We are on who knows how many clones at this point. We are now passing El Dorbito. Oh, and we have just passed El Dorbito. We have now reached sixth with Bozzy Baranta. Good night, folks, and I hope to see you next week on the Intergalactic Amateur Circuit. <laughs>